Well, welcome, friends, to another Yom Shanish Shalot Vachuvot, which, according to Ger One One One, is Monday subscriber Q and A in Hebrew, who kindly sent me a voice recording. So, how did I do? Ger One 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 also asks, "Have you heard about the half war that happened in Israel at the summer vacation? If so, what do you think about?" Again, another difficult question. Although whenever anyone asks you what you think of a war, you can usually expect the response, not good. The situation between Gaza and Israel is another very complex issue on which I admit I do not fully grasp. However, in my eyes there are two sides not willing to back down. Israel who lives like any developed country and wants to live normally in a very hostile region, which has everything to lose, and on the other side, Gaza who has already lost everything. The latter statement doubly so after the conflict. I feel that both sides are stuck in a pendulum-like conflict of back and forth which may not stop for a long time. I know I've left a lot of different uh, religious and other tensions in, in there, but uh, I thought that's sort of the general gist. On the conflict itself, I feel that whilst in the short term Israel may have lowered their weapon supplies and, and they destroyed the tunnels which they set out to do, the destruction they brought upon the Gazans infrastructure as a whole and the businesses has left them devastated and this really is not a good thing. I feel there will only be more resentment and people signing up to Hamas with nothing to lose. And whilst I say this, I can understand it is horrible to live also in Israel along the border, where you constantly fear a missile may land on your home or your family at any point. And even though Israel have better warning systems and defense systems, it doesn't help leading a normal life. Although I can't start to imagine what it would be like to live in Gaza after their electrical and sewage system has been so damaged. Either way, I can only hope for peace, but I honestly don't know how it will come. N on to the next one. Dario BLTN one. What are the best graphic settings for air-to-air -air combat and flying an ESF in general? I'm not really sure if graphic settings all too much affect air-to-air -air combat all that much, to be honest. The only thing that is quite useful in higher graphics is that the traces are drawn, whereas on lower graphics you don't see it as well, and you can sometimes ascertain pilots' positions from that, or dodge the streams of fire. I guess a higher field of view can also let you see more around you, but at the same time makes targets smaller on your screen, and it's quite important to trace larger targets as an ESF, so, so it's a bit of a balancing act. McProlv asks, have you ever been to Latvia? Unfortunately, I've never graced Latvia, although I have met quite a few Latvians. I know that the capital city is Riga. Slywolf says, Did you really enjoy the first season of Sword Online more than Gungale so far? I've lost faith in you, little one. I enjoyed most of the first season more, although it did get weird at parts. Mainly their surrogate child. That was really odd. I mean, accepting daddy and mummy remarks for a random child after like 10 minutes of being with them was very weird. As I said, I preferred Log Horizon more overall, it felt more akin to the schemings of Lelouch in Code Geass, and I much preferred the smart tactical protagonist. Crowgamer HD asks, will you stop playing video games if you find sexy girlfriend and have a sex every day? No, sex doesn't have to mean playing less video games. A partner would have to understand or at least accept who I am, otherwise there isn't much point in them being my girlfriend. SM Carriel. Anyway, Toshino, since you're a Brit, I want to ask what BPL club do you support? I'm guessing that you meant English Premier League club? I thought at first you meant political party, but then it occurred to me. I'll answer that next week if I was wrong though. Anyway, with football, my local club is called Derby County, and I went to watch them for around two years. Although, to be honest, I'm not all that much into football anymore. Now, if anyone asked me, I would say that I support them as default. Also, I went to Hull University, so I have a bit of a soft spot for Hull City, who are in the Premier League at the moment. Also, a fun fact is that Derby County holds the record as the worst team in the Premier League for a season. Pretty funny. Andy Dye, what do you do in your free time besides playing video games? Well, for one, making videos and making script for videos takes up quite a lot of my time. I also watch a lot of shows and films, and anime. I occasionally write some fiction and read books too. I also have some very close friends that live nearby and we always just hang around, watch films or play board games. We do go out clubbing too most weekends and occasionally go to our friends gigs but you know just general messing around. Toby Loves Wombats asks why are you so MLG? 
To be honest, I don't think of myself as being that MLG. I only play well because I've played for so long. But there are a lot of better players than me out there. I, I can do some fancy stuff in an ESF with a rocket launcher though. Anyway, thanks everyone for your questions this week. Be sure to put any questions you have below in the comments and I'll try to answer them in next week's episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe to me for more. Until next time everyone, Joshino.